Do you wish to be the Rockefeller of the rails? Well, this game might just be for you. Ladies and gents, this is Railroad Corporation, and my name is Orbital Potato. Uh, it's a game that's developed by Corby Games and published by Iceberg Interactive that sees you take on the role of running a railroad corporation. Uh, it's a train management simulation strategy game, uh, and it's currently in early access, so that kind of explains why there's a, a couple of features that are not uh, available at this present moment. Things are liable to change, all of that good stuff. Anyway, uh, we're going to jump right into a new campaign. I just did the tutorial, so hopefully I'm well versed in, uh, in understanding exactly what's going on, and I can explain some of the features as we go. Uh, so, we are going to create a brand new character, Orbital Potato, of course. Uh, Rickett Railroads, Kane Eastern Railway, or Harrington's Railroad. We need to choose a company to apply to, and each of these guys give uh, a nice little bonus. Um, to be honest, I feel like Harrington's Railroad will probably come in most handy. So let's let's roll with that. I mean, it's not a very flattering, uh, it's not a very flattering photo there, but, I mean, there's only four to choose from, and Sure, I guess that looks kind of most like me. Maybe if you squint really hard in a mirror. Anyway, mission number one. Hot steel for Cincinnati. Uh, we've received a large order we've, uh, from an entrepreneur, and he's asked us to supply him with five carriages of steel. Time is running out, etc. Uh, we got 50,000 bucks in the bank, but if you exceed this, all of our operations money will be frozen. The company will be forced to fire you. Okay, so we can, uh, we can overdraft $50,000, but if we go over that, we are, we're in trouble. All right. Let's see what we've got in store. This is our little hometown of Bowling Green. Is that the name of a real town? I'm not entirely sure if that is the name of a real town, but hey-ho. Anyway, let's talk through some of the basics of the game. Uh, we've got our mission objectives up here, and they are timed objectives. So we've got 509 days to set up a research and development department in uh, my office. Uh, iron ore delivery, we need to deliver some iron, we need to deliver some coal. We need to deliver it to a specific area, Barnstable Town. Indeed, that is the case. All right, cool. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about this interface as we progress. But suffice to say, this is a really interesting way of um, of displaying the supply and the demand uh, for the resources in an individual town. But as I say, we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, this is the map that we've got going on over here. It looks pretty darn. It looks pretty darn substantial. It's not. Uh, it's not too big though. What is that? Maybe fifteen. Yeah, fifteen towns or so, or fifteen. Fifteen separate areas. All right, that's. Uh, that's pretty darn impressive. Is this an iron mine over here? Yeah, this is an ore mine over here. So, I suspect that we will probably be looking to take the iron ore from over here to yep yeah, Barnstable, which is over here, which uses the iron in the steel making process. Okay, that's pretty darn cool. Uh, should we just start with the current objective and then progress as we go? I think that that's probably a pretty darn good idea. Uh, so setting up a research and development, uh, a research and development uh, office, a research and development department. First of all, we need to find our office. It's this magnificent building, which looks very magnificent to be my office. I would expect my office to be rather more downtrodden and uh, a little bit more tacky if it was me, but hey-ho. Anyway, uh, we need to set up a brand new department, but in order to get a brand new department, we need to upgrade the space because at the moment we only have a railroad laying department. Your company is capable of laying railroads at uh, the area. All right, good. Grammar. Uh, let's upgrade the, uh, the office building. We've now got four space available. That's grand, so we should be able to install a research and development department easily. Initial number of scientists, 10 persons, and it'll take up three rooms. Okay, that's totally fine. Uh, we've completed mission number one. Fantastic. That's, uh, that's great. Mission number one is over. Uh, iron ore delivery is going to be slightly more challenging. And the reason that it's slightly challenging is that at the moment, when you place rails, which is what we're about to go and do, uh, you can only actually start rail construction from the existing joints. So the only existing joint that I think that we have in this entire... Yeah, this entire map is our own... Uh, is our own station right over here. So, in actuality, we only... We, we have to go... Oh my good golly goodness gracious me. It takes us out of the map, which is, I mean, straight up not on.
What about something like that? Yeah, that's going to cost us $60,000. I mean, is there no way that it can be done a little bit cheaper? $63,000? Yeah, so you're kind of a little bit limited in the fact that you cannot really choose where the station goes. Okay, undo, undo, undo. Although I don't mind that as a route. Uh, we just need to be conscious of the fact that the station needs to be exactly where it is highlighted. Uh, so let's let's try another route. It's going to cost us $13,000. I kind of want to keep the train speed as high as possible. It's going to cost us $47,000. I mean, that's a pretty hefty amount, I would say. Although that's pretty reasonable, all things considered. I'll take that. That's that's pretty darn good. All right. Let's rock and roll. $47,000. We got $85,000 in the bank. Let's confirm that. Perfect. So that is our first, that is our first piece of, uh, piece of railroad laid. Officially laid. Uh, now we need to go and create a route between, uh, between the, Cas the Casa Grande iron ore mine and Barnstable. Now, if I go through the mountains, is that going to cost a lot of money? It is indeed. So, what I'm thinking of doing is maybe seeing if we can branch off to this area. That's going to cost us $19,000. I mean, that is... that's a steal, to be quite honest with you. That is a real steal. Right, we'll take that, lay that piece of railroad. And I don't know if you saw there, but it was a little bit... Uh, a little bit difficult to see. Uh, the entire town actually rearranges around the station. So the station that you are planning to build uh, always ends up taking priority over the entire town and the town completely rearranges. Not quite sure how that works, but you know, hey-ho, I can't really complain if that's the extent uh, that they're that they're gonna go to help me place my train station. Anyway, let's do this. Let's buy a locomotive and actually start transporting some uh, some goods. Now, uh, earlier on, I talked a little bit about this interface screen here. This screen is really, really cool because it allows you just to quite easily see at a glance what a specific area is supplying and what a specific area is demanding. Casa Grande uh, can only supply iron ore and doesn't actually demand anything. So, uh, we click it. We can only click it once before the train gets overloaded because we got a pretty darn useless, terrible train at the moment. So that's fine. We'll take one bit of iron ore. The uh, The maximum tonnage that we can take is, is 40 tons. The maximum speed is 35. I mean, we could overload the train, but that will mean that we can't actually go anywhere, which is not what we want. So uh, yeah, we'll do, we'll do one little bit of iron ore and we'll take that to Barnstaple. And then in Barnstaple, we will unload at the steel mill, and that will be that. So we click apply, and that should set the train in motion. Technology advanced, now we can prove our locomotives, even develop new ones. Okay, lovely. That's because we built the research and development office. So I'll take, uh, I'll take a look, little look at this. Okay, this is good. This is good. Engine power effects, uh, locomotive acceleration time, plus 8 HP. I presume that that means horsepower as opposed to, uh, to health points or hit points. Interesting. All locomotives power, plus 3 uh, maximum weight that the locomotive can pull. I mean, that would be straight up very, very handy. Uh, it is going to cost us a lot of money, though, so I'm going to hold off on this for now. Yeah. I'm going to hold off on this for now. Maybe, uh, maybe let's see how my train manages first. I don't think there are going to be any issues. This is a... I don't mean to disparage this train, but it's... It's pretty lame as trains go. Although I suppose it is an early train. You can't, you can't, you know, you can't say ill of, of early primitive technology, can you? Also, we can upgrade uh, we can upgrade these these stations around and about. That would be kind of cool. Uh, we'll look forward to doing that in a little bit. But first of all, we got to see we got to see if this works. Also, we need to try and get coal delivered. Uh, there is a coal mine over in Manchester. Did I see a coal mine somewhere else? Ah, oh, there's a there's an iron there's an iron ore mine over there. There's a coal mine over here. I dare say that might be slightly better to connect to because if we go 
Well, if we go here to there. There. And then that in there. That's going to cost us $12,000. Uh, also, each time your train loads up with uh, the resources, it actually buys the resources. So, as opposed to us just transporting goods that are already owned by someone, we actually take full responsibility for buying the goods and then selling them at the other end. Not entirely sure how that works out, but hey-ho, I, I guess it's an insurance policy for the... Uh, for the companies that uh, that we're selling to. But if, if I was in this business, I would definitely be not agreeing to that because that's a lot more of my capital that is concerned with someone else's uh, investment. But it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't particularly matter. Anyway, uh, how much money are we going to make over here? We should make a fair bit, I would imagine. There we go. What do you know? Uh, we end up with 6,000 in the bank. That is pretty darn good. It's unfortunate that we actually can't transport anything else. Yeah, it would be nice if we could, you know, transport some goods from Barnstable Town back to uh, Casa Grande, but unfortunately we can't. I feel like I'm also saying this name entirely differently every single time. Uh, let's bump it up to two times speed. Uh, we do still have plenty of time to deliver uh, coal and iron, but it's going to become more and more it's going to become more and more time sensitive to try and get the coal delivered. So let's, yeah, let's go back to faffing around with New Orleans coal. New Orleans coal. Yeah, I think that that's probably where we want to do it from. I don't think there are any other coal mines, are there? Uh, there is a coal mine up there, but that's far away, and I don't really want to faff with that. Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, we're looking at either laying a railroad between here... It's going to cost us $38,000. I literally do not think that there's a cheaper way to do that. Yeah, 35000 It's going to cost a It's going to cost a heck of a lot. Or, we're looking at connecting up here, or from, should I say, from here to here. It's going to cost us $13,000. I mean, that's, that's probably the best that it's going to be for us. Yeah, let's try and take it a little bit slower. I know it's going to be... I know it's going to be unfashionable to have a, a slower curve, but that's fine. $10,000, $10, you know what? I, I will actually take that. That is a pretty darn good deal. Uh, I am going to dip into my overdraft, but I'm not super worried about that. Yeah, maximum overdraft is 50000 So the daily... We have a daily payment now, okay? That's a bit concerning, of thirty-five. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not. I'm not necessarily worried. Let's uh, let's exit and let's buy a locomotive and let's see what we can do. Uh, yep, take an overdraft to buy a brand new locomotive. Here's hoping that things don't get too messy. Uh, we can transport two coal at once. Wonderful. And let's unload it in Barnstable. Right now, how is this train going to path? That's the interesting thing. How is it going to path? Where is it going to come from? It's going to come from this area. Dear customer, bring to your attention that you have a line of credit with our bank. Maximum overdraft allowed. Please note, if you exceed this limit, your your account transactions will be stopped and your company will be frozen. Yes. Thank you very much. Olive Myers, I appreciate your concern. We have a daily payment now of $177. Yikes. It's, it, it's all downhill from here. Okay, where's this train going to go? Is it going to just, like, drive past and then reverse up? No. No, it is not. It's presumably going to go to the other end of the line then, isn't it? All right. So that means we need to try and hopefully uh, lay a little bit of track between here. It's going to cost me very little. Road is occupied by train. Well, first of all, it, it, it ain't a road. Um, construct a repair shop. I mean, it's been like a, a month or two. I will, I will get a repair shop, but I mean, let me at least uh, deal with my financial issues first. So, uh, I think the train is stuck in here at the moment. Okay, yeah. So the train, so one bit of one train can only occupy uh, one bit of track. You'll notice that all of the junctions that we have have signals, which is kind of interesting. But once we have 
a bigger train network, we'll be able to set up second lines, but at the moment we only have we only have one line. And the crazy thing is, is that this long stretch of railroad was only to connect up the Bowling Green and Casa Grande. Oh my goodness, $226 daily payment. That's a, that's a yikes for me. That's a yikes for me, dog. Anyway, yeah, this the whole big original uh, bit of track was entirely unnecessary in the grand scheme of things. But hey-ho, what can I say? Are we ever going to recover from this... from this indebted position? I truly cannot say. What I would like to do is I would like to get some research and maybe see if we can try and upgrade this train so that we can carry just a little bit more tonnage. I mean, if I was to... If I was to increase pulling mass for five grand, I mean, that would instantly, instantly give me the ability to make more money, is what I mean to say. Um, so do I want to do it? Do I want to do it, though? I'm not sure that I really do. Locomotive acceleration? I, I don't know. Reliability? I'm just, I'm praying that we don't have any breakdowns at the moment. If we have, if we have any breakdowns, we're going to be in trouble. Alright, so unbelievably, you've used more than half of your overdraft, overdraft funds. Yep, I'm, I'm aware. I'm aware. Okay, so you apparently cannot get into the station. I also don't think that I can control these signals. So, I mean, it's literally just luck of the draw. Also, that's still in Russian. So that's nice. Uh, l luck of the draw to see which train gets into the station first. Alright, great. Well, we sold, we sold some coal for some money there. That's pretty darn good going. Stick it in three times speed because nothing is going particularly fast at the moment. Making a little bit of steel. Is steel required anywhere? Is 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 there is there any steel demanded anywhere? Is it demanded over here? No, it demands coal ore at a price of three thousand nine hundred. Well, it's more expensive at the steel mills, so that's quite good. Uh, logs are demanded. We could maybe get a logging uh, operation up and running. Alternatively, we could set up a little uh, a little train route between Bowling Green and Clarksville. I'm thinking that we might be in a uh, unavoidable debt spiral uh, at this point. Maybe just, maybe we've gone too hard too fast. Again, part of the problem, part of the problem is that we're purchasing these goods with our own money, which I find utterly obscene. But hey ho, what, what can you, what can you do? Not very much. Oh my goodness, we are very, very close to hitting that, uh, to hitting that limit. Alright. And we're, we're paying $400 a day. Right. Right. Rockefeller of the rails, uh, might not be the, 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 the job title for me. And, yet yeah, the crazy thing is, is that we go into the station. We buy, we buy two units of coal, and then we go bankrupt, <laughs> and then we go bankrupt. Oh my goodness. I mean, to be honest, to be honest, right? To be honest, I think that we actually did fine. Um, I, I think that maybe my pace was somewhat out of sync with the game's pace. Uh, what I think is pretty clear is that we need a, another source of revenue before jumping into doing the mission objectives because that is apparently far too expensive and it takes too much track to do that. Okay, so uh, let's let's actually be serious about this right now. Uh, we can build we can build an R and D office. We'll do that in a second, but for now, let's try and how much is that going to cost me? Twelve thousand, as opposed to. As opposed to what? 16,000? I mean, 12,000 is a pretty big saving. 13,000. You know, I'll take that. That's uh, 120, 
120 miles per hour along the entirety of the track. Look at that. The entire town just rearranges around the station. How wonderful. Uh, anyway, what's the demand for logs? 3,300? It's both exactly the same. Okay, fine. Uh, let's get a, a locomotive first and foremost. Let's just set, uh, set something up so that we can deliver passengers between... We'll deliver three passengers... Right, and then we load three passengers, bish, bash, bosh, and then we unload three passengers. So we basically just have a, a nice little passenger line uh, to get us going. It didn't cost us that much money, it's, it's quite nice. Uh, yeah, where's the train? Oh, do I need to... do I need to make sure that... We actually have the the passengers. Can I skip? Yeah, there you go. Skip the station. We'll let the passengers uh, build up so that we don't have to worry about demand too much because supply is not very high. But that's a okay for me. Uh, okay, let's see if we can try and get another little operation up and running. We'll see if we can try and get a logging operation. Right, I'm really not worried about top speed too much. 11,000 bucks. That is a pretty darn good deal, if you ask me. And let's see if we can try and get a brand new... A brand new railway... A brand new railway wagon. Uh, 45... 45 tons. I mean, I would ideally like to increase the amount of tonnage that each train can pull. This is a good opportunity. Let's get this upgraded right now, and then let's also install the research and development department, and then let's go and immediately get pulling mass. Yeah, why... Why does it cost me money? I feel like that's fairly unfair. Let's immediately get uh, tonning advanced. Uh, tonning, tonning increase so that hopefully we can... We can utilize that, but I didn't realize that we can't utilize it now, so we gotta just wait. We've we've gotta sell we've gotta sell logs in twos now, unfortunately. But nothing to worry about. It's a, a nice little money spinner. Right. Turns out that my passenger route is remarkably unsuccessful. Uh so what we can do is we'll change this. So all we do is take one person. Is this going to be profitable? Who knows? Nobody knows what the bottom line is going to be. But hey-ho. Uh, coal is also demanded at New Orleans. And San Bruno has a wheat field which will be very, very good. The markup on, the markup on wheat is actually incredible. Look at that. So the price per wheat is 800 800 bucks, and uh, it can be sold for 2,800 at the City Hall, so that's pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Also, what I think is quite clear is that you want to have, you want to have, oh look, now we've got more than enough passengers. What do you know? What do you know? Okay, so it turns out that that was, that was unnecessary. Uh, oh god. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to change it. You know what? Let's just do one passenger. One passenger everywhere. That's that's fine for now. We'll we'll leave it there. Uh, and then let's also let's also add some more railroad. Collides with another structure. Is that with the signal? Is it colliding with the signal? I think it is. Okay. Let's get that out there, and then let's see. How much is going to cost? Thirty-three thousand dollars. I mean, seems quite too big slope. I hate when that happens. Right. Okay, that's not working for some for some reason. Right, what's the cost of this going to be? $33,000? I mean, that seems a little bit extreme. For the slight bit of track that we're just laying. It would cost 18000 in bridges. What am I actually bridging here? It 
See, that seems much more reasonable. It would cost a little bit in building, uh, building changes. But that's fine. It's also quite a steep incline. Pulling mass has been completed. That's great. Uh, that's 19,000. You know what? I'll take 19,000. That's not too shabby. I will take that. Uh, also, now we can make some slight amendments. Let's pause. Uh, now we can make some slight amendments to the Bowling Green. Unload at Bowling Green and increase. Yeah, increase the load that we're carrying from Lakesville. Did I apply that? I don't think I did. There we go. Right, good. Construct a repair shop. Uh, the more mileage and age of a locomotive, the higher the probability of its failure on the tracks to minimize the ch chance of a breakdown. Build repair shops at stations and from time to time send locomotives for their maintenance. Okay, I will I will endeavor to do that. Uh, also, at Bowling Green, I would like to unload three people and take three people. And at Clarksville, I would like to do the same. It's clear to me, at least, that uh, we will have no issues maintaining a successful passenger service from now on, and there's no reason why we shouldn't. Also, passengers are free to transport as opposed to uh, as opposed to other stuff. Annoyingly, it costs it costs money to buy the resources at one end of the track, uh, but of course we, we we get a bigger markup at the end. Uh, let's buy another locomotive, sure, and let's transport as much wheat as we possibly can. We can transport three at a time. I mean, that's annoyingly small. But hey-ho. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're not doing too badly. Financially, that is. Emotionally, though, this has been a roller coaster. Although I'm still pretty happy with how things, uh, how things are turning out. Now that we're doing three passengers, that's a big improvement. Now that we're doing three logs, that's also a big improvement. This train does seem to be going relatively slowly. Yeah, it's, it's not going very fast. Certainly we could try and uh, try and get some research done to discover what's actually going on. Uh, also, new facility uh, repair shop. Yeah, we need two rooms in order to make that happen. Yeah, price per service will be reduced by 100. Uh, okay, so what is the price per service at the moment? Is it is that the $500 that I'm seeing pop up? I don't actually know what the price per service is. I was not made aware of this. 300 ah, 100, 120 bucks. That's how much it costs per service. All right, so that would actually be a valuable investment. Let's upgrade the facility and then let's get a Fuel fitting at the station will be 25% faster. That doesn't really seem that necessary. Uh, I'll get the repair shop. Cheaper maintenance. Price per service will be reduced by 100 bucks. Um, did I not just get that? Sure, I'll get, I'll get both. Fine. I'm all about the economics. Right. Construct a repair shop. That's grand. Uh, we do need to. We do need to consider that we do have a time limit on this uh, on this mission. However, I'm much more concerned about making money in the short term. If we make money in the short term, then that will allow us to be successful long term. That's my logic, anyway. Oh, actually, speaking of logic, now that this train's had a little bit of an upgrade, can it carry another passenger? I think it can. Okay, that's great. Okay, so four passengers each way. I don't think that we should have any issues maintaining that level of uh, maintaining that level of demand, but it might be a little bit challenging to do. How much does it cost for a repair job now, or a service job? Free? Is it free? It's not free. Maybe that's not the service job that I was looking for. Okay, maybe that's just up, uh, just on ongoing maintenance costs. Thing is, is that I cannot actually see. Uh, train fuel, train upkeep. I guess train upkeep is just different. If so, do I have a service? Train fuel? No, building depreciation. That's not really relevant. Hmm. How funky. How funky indeed. Very, very funky. All right, well, now that we're starting to make a good amount of money, 
Uh, we can choose to maybe do some more research. I think research is probably quite nice. Uh, aging, locomotive conditions worsen over time, higher lifespan, longer service, fuel consumption, uh, reliability. I guess none of our trains have broken down yet, so that's quite nice. Uh, maximum speed, I'm not super bothered about max speed. I would quite like to get a brand new, a brand new locomotive, however, 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 I would love to get more pulling mass, but unfortunately I can't, I can't do that at present. I think that we need to try and uh, branch out to New Orleans because the markup on coal is also pretty darn good. So let's start laying some more track. 18,000? I mean, what's that? 14,000? I mean, I'll take 14,000 any day of the week. I mean, we're never hitting, we're never hitting speeds of anywhere near 100. All right, rearrange the entire building, why don't you? Uh, the entire town, even. We're never hitting speeds of anywhere near 120 miles per hour, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. Okay, we can only transport two coal at once. That's kind of irritating. But hey-ho, let's set it up. Shouldn't have any difficulty. Uh, we probably do want to, as we did in the first uh, ambitious attempt of the, of the map, uh, we'll try and get the New Orleans to transport coal between Barnstable Town and uh, New Orleans and Barnstable Town. We'll try and get the coal set up to, to take it over there because that is, of course, the mission objective. However, there's no reason why we can't also have a service between New Orleans and, and Bowling Green. We're setting up to optimize around Bowling Green. Which seems to be working, you know? Right, now, here's the next question. Can I double this track? How much would it cost for me to double this entire track? Collides with other structure. Yeah, yeah, no, but I want to keep it... I want to keep it parallel. That would only cost me 7,500... Uh, 7,500 bucks. I might actually do that. And that might allow... That might allow some some more transportation of coal. To be honest, I think that we're onto a winner with this with this uh, with this strategy. Buy a new train. So I want to drop off a whole bunch of goods at City Hall. And then pick up what is it, three? Yeah, three bits of coal. Yeah, three bits of coal and then unload three bits of coal there. Right. Wonderful. Let's see if this actually makes any difference. or if they come to an impasse. Nope, looks good to me. Looks absolutely A-OK -okay to me. All right, so the markup on uh, on wheat, as I previously talked about, is gargantuan. So we're going to really enjoy having all of that extra money. I just hate the fact that we need to buy the resources ourselves. But hey-ho. None of our trains have broken down yet, which is always quite nice. One locomotive can undergo scheduled maintenance. Yeah, all right. Fine. Scheduled maintenance has yet to happen, but I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll know when it does. All right, now that we're making a consistently large amount of money, do we want to consider maybe, just maybe, expanding our train network over to Barnstable Town? The reason that I'm suggesting Barnstable Town now is we can get we can get uh, additional. We can get the additional line set up relatively cheaply, actually. Twenty-two thousand. I mean, I'll take that. I'll do that. And the reason that it's quite nice uh, to do this right now is that we can set this route up to immediately start generating money for us. Buy a locomotive. Take an overdraft? Uh, no, I do not want to take an overdraft, actually. I'll just wait until I have a little bit more money. And then load up two bits of coal. And set it to... No. Uh, what? Oh, 
Oh, this shows me all of the... Oh, interesting. This shows me all of the places uh, where you can get coal. Right. Get that up and running. Let's do it. This is a very, very congested... Uh, a very, very congested area. But for all the faults in this system, looks like we're making money, folks. Looks like we're making money. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, sure, let's do some research. I'm going to put everyone on this. The reason that we need to do... In fact, no, I'm not going to do that. The reason that we need to do research is... It's a mission. It is a mission. And let's also get fuel consumption, sure. It's going to take a while to get... It's going to take a while to get all of those research objectives done, and it cost a pretty penny, that's for sure. But we don't need to worry about it. We do not need to worry about it. We just need to worry about iron ore delivery now, because we've done coal, or we will be we will be doing coal uh, shortly, after train number six delivers, uh, delivers, delivers its load to Barnstable Town. And then I think, to be honest, we want to probably head back to Casa Grande again. I would like just to, to highlight that this whole this whole go and bust thing wouldn't actually be a problem if we were allowed just to build, you know, trains from the middle of nowhere to somewhere else in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't really want to go into debt building this building this bit of track, so I'll wait until I got a little bit of cash in the tank, and then we'll give it a crack. All right, looks like coal is making money in Barnstable, which is great. All right, so this is the way that you're apparently supposed to play the game. Uh, you're you're not supposed to go for the immediate, uh, the immediate satisfaction of the, of the objectives. You're supposed to play it a little bit safer and build out your transport network. Okay, I get it. Thank you, video game. You taught me a valuable lesson. All right, so. Theoretically, we should only ever use our overdraft to... We should only really ever use our overdraft to uh, to buy some extra resources. Also, speaking of overdraft, I think we should double this line here. Seems like a very, very good idea to me. I mean, this is going to be very congested, this area. That connects up. 5,000 bucks. It is dirt cheap to double to double tracks, though, so we might as well take the opportunity to do it whilst the going's good. Uh, and then I want to transport four people to this area. Load four people. Unload four people. There we go. Let's get cracking. Hopefully we've got enough passenger uh, demand to continually make that happen, but hey-ho. And also, we need to buy a new train to go from from this area to this area. There we go. Grand. Let's do it. So, uh, with that, we're on course for coal delivery to be completed uh, imminently, actually. Uh, we're on course for iron ore uh, deliveries to be completed eventually. And we're also making a bunch of money in the process. Right, this is kind of a problem. This train is going very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. Eight miles per hour. It's a very, very large load to carry, but it's fine. Yeah, I doubled this track, but they're both using the same bit of track. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm hoping... Oh. phase through your friend over here. I'm hoping that eventually we might get the ability to set our own points. But I'm not sure about that. Right, so it's just iron ore delivery to go. Uh, where is... Where is the iron train? Where is it? Can I... I, I can't even see it. T8? Is 
Yeah, where can I can I have a look at it? Is it is it currently stuck in the in the in the thing? Where where is it? Where are where where is it? Where's my train? It's moving. Well, that's not a great hint. Why are you going this way? What? Why are you down here? Okay, so it's not on the bit of track that it's supposed to be on. All right, uh, let's do a little bit of a a bypass, I guess. Collides with other structure, does it really? Right, does that make it any easier for T8 to get out? Having just one access, uh, it has, having just one access line for the trains is somewhat of a problem. Did I see a train is broken down? I did see that a train is broken down, but I don't, I don't think I can find it now. Okay, T8 is going to go in here. We only care about T8 at this point. All right, T8. I literally designed a track specially for you, so you should have no issues. Please go up this way. Beautiful. Stop here. And wait a little bit. This is going to take a very, very long time. Uh, because T8 has not got any of the carrying capacity. It's going to take him five journeys. Um, buh, 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 buh. Okay. Copy. Buy a brand new locomotive. And then immediately get him to set off out. T9, yes. Ooh, also, it looks like... Looks like post is, is a thing. Bowling Green no longer demands grain. Oh, that's my... Finance has gone into a pickle. Uh, that's very annoying, in fact. Can I instead... Cancel that there. Remove the station there, and instead... Yeah, deliver to the small farm. Can I just paste onto you? Nope. Uh, don't unload at Bowling Green. In fact, remove that there, and unload at the small farm. Right, so this is going to mess up the train line even more, because they're all going to have to go into this station first. Unless I build a slight little bit of track. To here. Yeah. And then that. Can I bring this? I mean, any way that I can connect this track up would be delightful. Can I not cross over tracks? Is it because of the elevation difference? It doesn't look too great. Alright. There we go. Let's see if that makes any difference. Alright, looks like you're gonna follow through to Bowling Green. And that should be fine. At T12... No, that's, that's T2. Uh, where's where's the other, the other trains? We got T9 and uh, T8, which are both which are both supposedly going to be delivering delivering iron ore. Let's double this double this track up. There we go. That should be better for everyone, right? No, apparently that doesn't work. What's going on? Why is this not working, folks? It's because it's paused. Great. <laughs> Just checking. Alright, so we've got one train that goes one way, and then the other train that goes the other way. Grand. Uh, can we add a new facility on here? Faster maintenance. Fuel at the station will be 10% cheaper. To be honest, I should just get all of the upgrades for the for the Bowling Green station, as the amount of trains that flow through here 
It's pretty darn crazy. Uh, fuel at the station will be 10% cheaper. Yep. Extended warehouse. Sure, why not? And large coal warehouse. Why not? No reason not to, right? Cheaper maintenance. I should get it all upgraded, right? Repair shop. Sure. Ah, I see. We have a breakdown. We have a breakdown. Broken on the way. That will dent our finances somewhat. I don't think it'll be too much of an issue, though. You know what? This actually works. We've got a system in place that, that does actually work. The only issue is perhaps not achieving this objective. Which is fine. I mean, well, it's not fine. Uh, we're getting there. I'm just wondering if perhaps we get another train. I think that we do, actually. Yeah. Okay, good. Brand new train to try and run the same route. Is that T10? T10, yeah, okay, great. We got T10 that's on the on the go now. Hopefully that will allow us to get more uh, to get more iron ore. We could of course utilize the better locomotive, and that might be an idea, you know? The pulling mass is 65 tons in comparison to the 50 tons that we got at the moment. But we're almost done with this mission, so I feel that we can probably finish it out with uh, we can probably finish it out with with these trains. So after T9, after T10, and after this T8 has delivered, we will be finished the mission, I believe. All right. That's not too bad, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm still kind of annoyed that I have to buy all of the resources, but you know, what can I say? I can only say the same thing so many times and be salty about it. Okay, who's broken? T2? Alright, if you break down, if T2 breaks down, that's absolutely no cause for concern for anyone. That's totally fine. You know what? This, it might be a little bit janky, but I kind of like it. This, this route is, is, is actually quite nice. The key, I think, is to try and to, to make sure, try to make sure that you have as many trains out on the road as possible. And moving as possible. And that's the, that's the real challenge, as opposed to, you know, building the networks and expanding too quickly. That was just me being stupid. But in actuality, what you want to have is you want to have as many tracks, uh, as many tracks, or as many tracks with trains on them as possible. That's what you want. Uh, now we just have to pass the steel on to Mr. Denman in Cincinnati. Time is running out, so hurry up. Uh, deliver the steel to Cincinnati. Right, well, where is Cincinnati? Uh, presumably it's a town. Oh, it is a town. It's over here. Okay, we got five We got five steel. That's what we need to try and do. Uh, I don't think that we're going to have too much difficulty with this. It's going to be a little bit of an expensive route with the bridge. The bridge is going to cost me a pretty penny. Uh, tunnels. You know what? I, I don't even know why I care. Like, I'm very, very wealthy right now. Sure. I'll, I'll buy a tunnel. Look at that terraforming. That's the sign of someone who's made it. When they're, when they're able to make a, a, a train like that. If I upgrade this station. Yeah, there's no way that I can just start a train somewhere else, is there? Starts in Bowling Green. I have no idea why it always wants to start in Bowling Green. Uh, whatever the case, uh, Bowling Green, yep, we will pick up steel. We can literally take one steel at, at a time. Hey, 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 hey. Fine. And then we'll get rid of that steel. That's the contract. That's the contract steel, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And then, you know what, on the way back, we should probably take something. We should probably take... I mean, can we take post? No. We can't even take passengers. All right, that's uh, useless, in fact. Utterly useless. Is this train being a problem? This train is indeed being a problem. 
Not great. Not great at all, but it's fine. All right, I think we should try and get the, the better train. There we go. Ten, ten people working on that train. It's going to take 64 days. I mean, that's still a little bit long, but uh, it's doable. T11 is here to save the day. Might I say, this is an absolutely delightful railway. Look at this. Look at how gorgeous it looks. That's a lovely, authentic little bridge. This is a lovely, authentic little tunnel here. Overdraft? Uh-oh, we're in an overdraft. All right, that's fine. I'm not going to be in an overdraft for long. Uh, it's just presumably because I bought a lot of buildings at the same time. Oh, look, we um, we, we pass right through uh, a couple of buildings here. Uh, is that a door on the building or is that like a tunnel? Hey, see, look at that. We're, we're, we're out of the overdraft. No issues whatsoever there. No issues whatsoever. All right, so it's literally just a case of getting the steel. I'm going to bump it up into maximum speed, which is three times speed. Do we make any money from the steel contract? We don't make money from the steel contract. So wait, what? Why is... Okay, so hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. A steel investor is asking me to invest my money to buy his iron and his coal and deliver it to him. Right? But he's paying me to deliver the iron ore and the coal. But then he's not paying me to deliver the steel. Have I got that? Have I got that correct? So I should get eleven thousand here. Or maybe I just didn't see it before. Nope, I'm definitely getting screwed out of eleven thousand. Eleven thousand bucks. I mean, uh, I suppose they did give. He did give me prepayment of like a hundred thousand dollars. Although in fairness, I can make that back with eleven bars of steel or ten bars of steel. Uh, so I don't think he's being overly generous. In fact, nine, nine bars of steel technically, if you. Will take you to just shy of a hundred thousand. I I I do feel like I'm being stiffed out of a little bit of money here, uh, but what can I say? What I'll do is I'll copy this train and oh I'll I'll get it with the the brand new John's Red Bull. John's Red Bull. What am I talking about? Okay, uh, take steel. How much how much steel can I take? I can take two things of steel. Hurrah! I mean, it'll be too late by the time this train actually gets uh, gets over there. But we might as well have a little look at it right now. That's a fine train, if I do say so myself. Looking lovely. Looking very, very nice indeed. Uh, yeah, I, I really do feel like I've been stiffed out of a heck of a lot of money here by, uh, by my business partner, supposedly, or by the person that, that's given me this contract. I don't know who the buffoons are that are running this train operation, but I feel like I could do a better job of running the company than uh, than the current people are doing. All right. See, here's the here's the other interesting thing is that you can get two trains on the same track at once if they're both going in the same direction, which I kind of like. Cause it's kind of like common sense, you know. It's kind of common sense. Apparently, they can't be on the same stretch of track, but there you go. Mr. Denman's Warehouse, yeah. Well, hey, success! Hot Steel for Cincinnati has uh, has been a tremendously successful uh, operation. We completed all of the objectives. Uh, the company net value is $512,000. Money at the end of the mission was 64000 So, you know what? I will take that. Uh, we're going to finish this episode up here. But, ladies and gents, if you'd like to see more, please do let me know. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obita Potato. This has been Railroad Corporation. I'll see you next time. Bye.